Hey guys, I'm just walking around in Brighton, so I thought I'd show you some of the artwork that has popped up over the last couple of years. Um, there's that one, which is um, Dot Master. There's I See the Sea, oh, the street art. There's a couple of new ones as well. Um, a couple that I haven't seen yet as well. Um, let me try and flip the camera around so you can see my ugly mug. There we go. So yeah, I'm just um, having a little wonder about New Brighton. So I thought I'd show you what I didn't actually get last time. Um, because I forgot to press go live, which wasn't too great. Um, I've changed the windshield on the microphone as well, so audio should be a little bit better. Hey, um, so if you can let me know who's watching, who's about. Um, I'm just heading down one of the side streets now towards the tram. I'll show you some of the sites that we have around here. I wasn't going to go out today, but after staying in yesterday with the enough weather and yeah, I couldn't stay in again today. It's um, not too bad today. It's day pretty dry, but that lightning yesterday was awful. I absolutely hate lightning and thunder and all that. Um, like I've always been terrified of it ever since I was a kid. Um, and hearing about that poor lad in Blackpool. Um, getting killed by it yesterday. It's um, horrible. Here's one of the um, first artworks that i seen. It's, I love New Brighton and it's made to look like um, helium balloons. Looks pretty funky. Um... I'm going to be doing a video about the gill nets today um, and about the campaign one of the local guys has set up. Um, so I just thought on my way to doing that, I could let you guys have a little look around. Um, there's the fairground, obviously not open at the moment, but if I remember correctly, that might be getting shut down completely um, because it's getting or redeveloped. Um, here's one of the other artworks as well. It's um, if you want to be R and I guys, um, and it's so realistic. It's amazing. It's called Unsung Hero by Smug One. It's um, where is it? There it is. I mean, it looks so realistic and like almost like a photo. It's beautiful. Um, that's something I've never noticed before. There's like a weird creature thing made out of wood. But, um, hey, Yorkshire Monkey, you're all right. It was good chatting earlier, but look how realistic that is. He was one of the local RNLI guys. Um, I don't know whether it's a memorial to him or what, but it, um, it's a beautiful painting, to say the least. I'm about to come up to one of the newest ones. Is it a lifeboat man? It is indeed. Um, this is one of the newer... Wow. One of the latest ones that's been done. Um, where is it? There it is. I love the way it's been carried on along the wall as well. It's uh, um, nice and bright and vibrant. Let's try and see who the artist is of this one because I'm not too sure. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron or Aaron or something like that. Mysterious, rather, you've got your mic. It 
one of the mics I already had, but it's got a new wind thing on. Um, but yeah, if you have a look at that, even the street signs being involved, Belmont Road and New Brighton. Um, I love it all. It doesn't have Brighton the place, so it's beautiful. But basically, there's a guy who um, opened a few businesses on the next road up. And he used to thank for it all. Sounds better in a way, but oh, brilliant. Um, it looks a bit daft like because it's a bit big and fluffy. My dog thought it was a toy earlier today, but as long as sound is a bit better, um, then it's all good. This is um, the back of the floral pavilion, which is our theatre that we have down on the prom. I used to do a lot of work in there. I used to do. Um, the first aid stuff in there when I worked with her cars. Live free, big up J L M. Is that the real live free or is that the fake one that we had yesterday? It's hard to tell. Um I'm heading down the side of the theatre now and underneath my feet there's a shooting range. Um that's part of the tunnels that were used during the war. They were made to made to make ammunition. Um and I was speaking to a guy from there the other day, and um, a lot of the original uh, machinery is still in there, which is pretty cool. Um, and it should be reopening again soon. It's the real Slim Shady. That fake one the other day, I'm hoping you are the real one, but yeah, that fake one the other day was um, a wee bit annoying because I ended up moderating him, thinking it was the real one. Um just coming down onto the prom now. Well, if it's the real one, easy live free. I seen your mask and I'll expose. <laughs> okay, it is the real one then. Um, do you think if I had anything to hide, I would have put it on a bloody video chat with you and Jimbo? Come on. Um, yeah, but that was hilarious. I'm getting loads of hate lately. It drove me mad earlier, all the ones you were getting saying that like you were homophobic and everything goes, and it's just ridiculous. They just want to pick on everything. I said, if you were homophobic, you wouldn't want to know me for a start. But that's the front end of the theatre, the floral pavilion. Um, seen some amazing shows in there over the years. Um, it's currently being used as a testing centre, but the less said about that, the better. Um, Mysterious writer. Um, yeah, I ended up nearly killing Liv Free the other night in a video chat. Um, when he, when yeah, I'll, I won't talk too much about that. Yeah, they all called me homophobic. A big team of them. Thanks for backing me. Big up all Jamie. <laughs> um, he's, well, that's the. I am going to back you with it because I've known you for a long time. And we've had a lot of in-depth conversations about all that kind of stuff. And yet we don't always agree on stuff, but it's ridiculous. And they take it too far. I've said before, you're not the most politically correct people. Or you have no malice when you see things. Um, I'm down on the beach now, having a little wonder. There's the fort that I believe actually fired one of the first shots of World War One. I, I want to say, or World War Two. I don't know which one. Um, it shot it across the bow of a Norwegian ship when war was first declared. Uh, the love is real, man, and we just have to see. Exactly. Um, I had ones in me chat the other day saying I look ill, and, I've, and if they use the noggin, they probably know that's because I am ill. Um but, yeah, what are they doing? What are they doing to make different and make change? They're just sitting on the sofa, criticising everyone else, and I don't like it. Um, <laughs> he is. He's a hairdresser at times, but, yeah, you've got to love him. You've got to love him. Um you can see all the docks over there in the distance. Like, you might recognise those cranes from one of the Channel 4 adverts um, that I've mentioned about before. But if the tide's out far enough, I'll walk around the other side of the um, 
what you may call it the fort. But uh, Yorkshire Monkey, it was good having a catch up earlier with that video chat and that, and talking through some ideas. Um, it's you know, it's not bad at all today, it's actually quite mild. Pardon me. Um, so can someone let me know how audio is because I've got the new windshield thing on the lapel mic um, and it should be sounding a bit better um, because the wind was ridiculous the other day. There's a bit of a light breeze today, but it's not too bad. So yeah, today basically I'm going to be doing a video about the Gilnet. Stacey, hello, you're right. Caught you, Jamie. You did. Um, you're right, Stacey. KFC, should I say. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing a bit of a video about the Gilnets and the guy who's campaigning against them. Because um, it's devastating the way they literally catch everything, especially things like porpoise and seals and seabirds and everything. It's so good. Haha, <laughs> KFC in the house. <laughs> um, we have someone in our little group chat thing called Jimbo, who likes to make really dodgy nicknames for us all. Um, I can't even repeat half of them on here, to be fair, because they're a bit too much and I'll probably lose my account. But anyway, <laughs> Yorkshire Monkey, um, you're as bad as me. But I'm right next to the fort now, Fort Perch Rock. When I was little, there was a museum in there. Um, and it's a shame it's not still there. It was quite interesting. Um, Jimbo the Brummy, who will deny he's a Brummy until he's blue in the face. Um, it's funny because when he's had a few to drink, his accent just gets stronger and stronger. And he'll deny it and deny it. But definitely a bit Brummy. Um, I'm walking up to... Oh, God. Wet. My lovely shiny boots are getting sand all over them. Can't have that. Um... I'm walking up to the rocks that separate the bits of beach and stuff like that. And um But it's still a brummy. <laughs> I'm saying now I'll end up getting in trouble. He was picking on my dog the other night, saying my dog looked like an old man who'd taken some pills. Um so me and my dog is beautiful. She's a little princess. Um Yeah, so I'm just when I was little, we used to go to rock pooling along here. Um, and used to see all sorts, so I might have to have a little news now. And just by the corner of the fort, and you can see the lighthouse in the distance and that. Um, so let's see if there's anything in any of the rock pools. Could be interesting. There's a ship coming in, I think. It looks like a... Um, one of the Irish ferries that we get going from Birkenhead. You can see Liverpool in the distance over there. The beautiful Liverpool skyline. That lit up at night is one of my favourite views ever. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. Right, so here's one of the, like, rock pool kind of things. Um, let's see if there's anything... Swimming in there, probably not knowing my luck, but um, your dog is a bit of a diva, don't know where she gets it from. I, I wouldn't have a clue where she gets that from, definitely not me, must be Dan. Um, but yeah, the I'll have to pick up grandson, catch you in a bit. But... Hey, see you later, Yorkshire Monkey. Um, congratulations on hitting 4,000, by the way. I forgot to say that before, but yeah, congrats. Um, but yeah, she's got this little thing now when she sees me talking to the phone. If I'm at home, she'll come and start like getting in front of it or trying to put her toys on it and everything so she gets attention, um, which always makes me laugh. But it's actually getting quite warm now. It's not too bad. She um, definitely likes stealing some of the limelight. It does our little poppy. And I'm trying to work out whether I can f walk over these rocks without going on my backside because I'm not having you lot laughing at me. Um, 
I'm literally walking right next to the fort now, but oh god. See, if I fall, you lot are gonna be in stitches and I know it. Um oh Christ. More little rock pools. See if there's out of interest. Oh, there is something moving in that one. Hold on. Um, just trying to navigate over these rocks without going flying. I'm definitely going to end up falling here. Um, I think I'll go back the other way around. Really don't want to get soaked before I start making the main video. Wouldn't be a good start. Um, you can see see all this green stuff on the wall here. It's over some other rocks too, and it's like it's just asking for you to fall over. What's that called, Jamie? The force. It's called Fort Pitch Rock in New Brighton. Um, it's quite interesting if you do some googling about it. Like it's got quite a quite a good history, an interesting history. Um, I think they only ever fired once from it during the war, um, and that was a warning shot at the very start. Um, I think it's mostly used for like concerts and stuff like that now. It's not really a museum like it used to be, but it's it's old. I'll have to try and find out the exact date of it, but I think it's the eighteen hundreds at some point, um, late eighteen hundreds. Maybe mid eighteen hundreds. I'm not too sure. Um, I always remember going in the museum part because they used to have like bits where you could uh, basically play with the old weapons and stuff like that, and try on old uniforms and all sorts. But this is a um, different bit of it. And if you look on the map, it's on like right on the tip of the world in New Brighton. Um, I'm just walking under the bridge part now. Oh, this sand's very, very uh, soft. I can remember playing underneath this bridge when I was little, but this is um, like underneath the bridge that goes into the entrance. Um. It's quite big. You can see like all the watch holes or whatever they're called and the towers and that. I've flown me drone over it a couple of times. I'll have to try and find the, the footage from it. Because um, it's even more interesting from above the shape of it and that. It's quite a peculiar shape. Oh, it's getting a bit warm now. Just heading around the other side of the fort now towards the um, lighthouse and that, and you might be able to see a ship in the distance coming in. Um, I'll try and flip the camera around if I can find the right button. Camera back facing. So, this is where I did the um, what's in them bars. There was like wire going across them, but there's um, pigeons have still found their way in. There's quite a big ship coming in by the looks of it, but you can, um, that's the exact spot where the delivery interview with the lighthouse in the background. Oh, it's beautiful in that sun. You can see the wind farming that in the distance. They've been doing some work on, I believe. Oh, God, the sun's a bit sinky and gone. Um, let's turn the camera back around to my lovely mug. Um, 
here we go. There we go. But yeah, I'm just heading down towards the lighthouse now. Um, it's actually quite a few people down on the beach today. It's um, for a weekday. Let me just see how wet the sand is before I decide how far I'm going to go. Yeah, so I'll try and find a nice place to do some filming for the um, going up video I'm going to do. Um, and go from there. I haven't quite decided. Like, the thing is with them, they're indiscriminative. They literally catch all sorts of porpoise, seals, seabirds, literally everything. Um, hello, Jamie, been going through your content. It's really good stuff, my friend. Thank you very much, Spikey Mike. Um, I I do put a lot of effort into it. Um, like, I try, I try, put it like that. Um, there will be more interesting stuff coming soon as well, like hopefully an interview with Sherlock Jones and um, a few other local interviews as well. But yeah, thank you very much for being replying to your comments and uh, I try to reply to every comment I get um, whether good or bad because I think if you've taken the time to type it out it's only fair um, yeah it's it's all good I'm literally by the lighthouse again but on the other side of the rock See, he's actually, I don't know whether it's coming out or going in or what. Coming out or going in. Oh, I don't know. Claire Redwood. Hello, you're right. Uh, Mysterious Rider, right. Got to see you soon, Mysterious Rider. Um, some more rock balls. Do you know, this smell takes me right back because there's a certain smell you get down here. And I don't know whether it's a combination of the seawater, the... Um, not the fudge and all that type of stuff but it's a smell that takes me right back because um, even when we lived in the other towns and that we still used to come up here it used to be like um, a treat in the summer to come up to New Brighton in a bit but take care mysterious rider hope you have a good rest of your day if that even made sense um but yeah, it's, it's definitely a beautiful place to live on the world. Lots to see and lots to do. Like the weather, wasn't too sure what it was doing today. So I was just tired of being stuck in and trying to see if there's any funky starfish or anything like that. Um, oh God, there's lots of little gnats or something there. So I'm not going to get too close. But you, too, you get, like, starfish and all sorts. There's a boat coming in there, a little boat and a big boat in the distance. Um, but, yeah, it, it's all good. It's all good. I had um, a bit of a bad day with my health yesterday. God, that's coming in quite close to the beach, that little boat. Um... Oh, there's something moving in there. There's all these, um, I think they're like tiebreakers. I'm not too sure. Um, hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Joe. You are right? Just come from GMM Live. Man on the roof of an axe couldn't see now. Like, oh, okay, whereabouts was that happening? Um, Claire. Go on, let's see if there's anything in this rock pool here. There's something moving. I get, oh, it's drips. You get like shrimp and all sorts in them. Um, the further you get into the summer, the better you get. Like lots of crabs, obviously. You get um, starfish. Oh, there's little flying things everywhere. And if you're lucky, you see a few fish as well. Oh. It looks like um, 
the tide's heading out because the water's kind of flowing towards that way. Um, but there's a bit of a view of New Brighton itself. Um, there's like Art Deco arcades. Interesting fact, it's got the longest promenade in the UK. It's um longest promenade in the UK. It had the first arcade in the UK, I believe, or England, one or the other. Um, what else? What else? I was reading some facts about it the other day. Um, there's been lots of firsts. That, like, we had the first public ferry service. Um, we also... Central Park in New York was copied off Birkenhead Park, um, which isn't too far from here. I've just left good man just to clear man on the roof of the night. Ooh. We, it's normally around here where we get stuff like that going on, but it's, um, I'd definitely have my zoom lens on so you guys could see up close if that was going on, I tell you. You'd be getting a right close up. But did you guys see all that drama with um, GMM the other week? Um, people accusing them of working for the police and stuff like that. Like, I don't know the truth of it or anything like that, but yeah, it was an interesting one. There's always drama on YouTube. Always drama. Um, like, I wouldn't make accusations about anything. Gonna let people know you're alive. Give me a second. Oh, thank you very much, Claire. Um, yeah, I wouldn't make accusations about someone unless I knew 100% it was true. Um, but it was definitely interesting for sure. It's... It's all, um, I think, the cockles, are they, or mussels, or something like that. Oh, and lots of little fly things as well. Watch me end up getting covered in bites to show you guys beautiful and stuff. Um, let me try and get a bit further back from where I came from so we can see how close that ship is now, because there was a big ferry coming in. I think it was one of the Irish ones. Um the best one was when we had the three, three queens in the river. Um, we had the QE2, the Queen Mary, I think it was, and one of the other ones. And they really didn't look like they should fit, like, in the river, side by side, the way they did. It was amazing. Um, I definitely went down that day to get some photos. But there's always something going on around here. Where is that ship gone now? Oh, it's actually quite close. Let me try and get further up the beach so I can show you guys. Ah. Me, um, we're spending the weekend decorating this weekend. Uh, Jake, away they live order. We've been told you were... I went talking crap about him at all. I was asking people's opinion on what had been said about him. Um, and I even said that I wouldn't make allegations like that unless I knew they were true. So please make sure you know what you're saying before you say stuff. I wasn't talking crap about him at all. I've spoken to him a few times. I don't have an issue with him. Um, we're even going to try and meet up the other weekend for an interview. I was asking people's Opinion on what had been said about him. Hey, Claire, you're out. Yeah, Greater Manchester Media messaged me when he was in Liverpool. Because um, we were going to try and do an interview, but I don't tend to do stuff on the weekends because it's the only time I get to spend with my partner. But I wasn't talking crap about him. This is what I love about YouTube and the way Chinese whispers happen. It's... It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But, yeah. There's lots I could say about a lot of people, but I don't. So I'm not into all the spreading hate and all that. I don't know whether you guys can see that ferry coming in in the distance there. But, support everybody positive in this community. That's what was... 
Who wrote that, Jake? Just out of curiosity. Um, I've been the one to try and support the community by letting people know what the audiences are about and stuff like that. Like, I'm not one for all this bloody hating on everyone and stuff like that. It achieves nothing. Energy can be spent on much more productive things than that. It wasn't you when I said that, Claire, was it? I don't think you would because you didn't, you're not, you don't seem the type, but gotta ask. Absolutely, Jamie, you do it positively. I try to anyway, and I still get people coming at me with negativity, and I've got no time in my life for negativity, put it that way. It's, um, yeah, it's their problem. That ship's looking massive now. It's, um, yeah. But, I don't know. I don't know. I had someone the other day um, comment, commenting on the videos saying that I only um, support criminals and stuff like that. I'm like, there's been two auditors on my channel. And I don't care anything about the past. I care about what they're doing now. I care about the difference they're trying to make now. Yeah, I didn't think it would be clear. I just wanted to ask. But people love the drama, don't they? There seems to be quite a few people here to see this ship coming in. Um, so I might have to get the camera out and get a few snaps. Um, but yeah, I don't know. All I want to do is portray a different side of the story. Like, not clear how about her. She is right behind you, Jamie, for sure. Yeah, I thought as much spiky. It's just, yeah, with the amount of trolls the past couple of days, it's um, an interesting one. So what leads them to it? Yeah. It's difficult when um, you try and put your best into something and... People just come at you with negativity, but you're right, Claire. You're 100% right. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few people waiting around to see the shipping. Um, so I don't really know why, but an interesting one. I don't know if it might be the first one in since um, the whole pandemic and that. It's great. I got my first troll yesterday. Oh, really? <laughs> Do you know, I had, like, day before yesterday when I did that video, um, it was my first time experience, experiencing loads of the main that me. Um, I've had loads, like, aimed at the people who have interviewed and stuff like that, but I've not had loads aimed towards me. Um, but, yeah, I suppose if you can't put up with all that, you shouldn't be doing it, should you? It's part of it, I suppose. Unfortunately, it's um, chores are a good sign, you're doing well. Yeah, I suppose it means you're ruffling feathers and all that, don't it? It's um, yeah, definitely part of it. What I might do for a minute is um, no, I was gonna get some snaps of um, this ship coming in, but can't really be bothered. It's um, definitely getting closer now. The dog playing on the beach too. Riding the waves indeed. Um, aye, it's all good. Like this is why I end up coming out down here just to have a little walk and to clear my head a bit and that. It's, it's great. For sure it's part and parcel of the cause, Jamie. Hi. Sure is. Um, when I see the amount of hate um, Live Free gets and that, it drives me mad because as much as like he's not everyone's cup of tea, he is trying to make a difference. And yeah, I don't know. Watch this will be one of them days I end up getting dead sunburnt without realising it because it's um, a bit overcast and that. 
when I did that interview with the lady who does the paintings, I, I was so, so sunburnt. Um, and it, but the sun barely came out that day. Joe's are being ginger, I suppose. But with all the shells and seaweed are popping and crunching under my feet. Um, yeah, it's, it's all good. So what I'm going to probably do now is head down towards the other end of the prom and try and get some footage for the video I have planned, um, which should probably be released tonight. Um, I won't be walking too far along because it's a long prom. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good. You can interview me anytime, Jamie. <laughs> Thank you very much, Claire. Enjoyed your interview with Marty. You know, it was the first time I'd like had the guts to actually speak on it. Like with the live free one, I spoke, but I cut out all my parts because I was never really comfortable with um, speaking on camera and that because, like, I grew up with speech problems and stuff like that. But after I did it and I had quite a positive response, it was good. Oh, just gonna sit down for a minute. This is the thing with the dodgy leg, I get worn out. Is that people with cameras? My ship's um, getting closer and closer. I think it might be going into the docks. Because um, most of them have just been sitting there and out during the pandemic, and they? But it's, um, it's turning into a beautiful day. That hailstone yesterday was awful. Um, but yeah, what I'm probably going to do now is I might as well grab some snaps of this ship coming in. Um, go and have a wander down the other end of the pump to get the footage from the other video. And yeah, I might, might maybe come on later, but we'll see. Um, see how tired I am after today. So yeah, I shall speak to you all soon. Hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. And I shall see you later. Take care. Bye.